Hey y'all, welcome to Life on Goldman Road. I am Brenda and we are gonna cook supper together tonight. For once, we are at home. It seems like we are go, 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 go here lately. Monday night, we bowl. Tuesday night, Grayson has a soccer game. Wednesday, we are home. Thursday, Grayson has a soccer game and Clarence is fill in bowling for someone. Friday is grocery night. Saturday is usually home. And Sunday is church. I'm tired. Tired. Today is Wednesday. You're going to see this on Friday. Um, but I need to cook supper because I'm hungry for one. And I need to get some stuff done. I did not have lunch today. I um, I stopped and grabbed a protein shake from our little uh, loaded tea nutrition place. So that has got me through till now. It is 5.55. It is time for supper. So I'm gonna try something new. Um, I kind of talked about it, I think, last time. <sighs> Trying to figure out all this blood sugar, glucose, and all that stuff. Still, it's going to be okay. So, we're going to do a creamy Tuscan zucchini noodles with sausage. I love zucchini noodles. If you do them in spaghetti... Or, I, well, I just love zucchini as zucchini. So, there's so many things you can do with zucchini. So, I had a pack in the freezer. Needed to be used. I have a pack of sausage that I opened. Saturday, maybe. Sunday. My days all run together. Anyway, I need to finish using the pack. Let's say that. And then I also had some spinach in the freezer. So I think I have everything for this recipe. We are gonna do a package of kielbasa roasted garlic sausage cut into rounds. Now, mine is just original. Use what you got. Two tablespoons of olive oil, three garlic cloves, a cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of chicken broth, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a cup of spinach chopped, one half cup of sun-dried tomatoes, salt and pepper to taste, 12 ounces of zucchini noodles, and fresh basil for topping is optional. Sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm excited about it. So... First of all, we are going to get out our sausage and get that cut up. Now, this is over medium heat in a cast iron skillet. Uh, olive oil. And add in the sausage. Cook two to three minutes per side until brown removed and then set aside. We're probably not going to do this in cast iron. Because just because I don't want to drag that heavy cast iron skillet out. Uh, we're going to add our garlic to the pan and cook for about 30 seconds. Add our cream, chicken broth, seasonings, blah, blah, blah. Sounds easy enough. We're going to try it. So, first things first, we're going to get our sausage, sausage cut up. I gotta go get chicken broth out of the pantry. I have heavy cream. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. So let me get that sausage. We're gonna get that cut up and we are gonna get this going and have a wonderful supper tonight. All right, I have Pope's Sausage Original. I had Cajun in this, and it was really, really good, and I was down to almost all of it, and I had to get one out of here. It was a four-pack, so this is perfect because this is going to be um, essentially what a package of 
you know, sausage is. So we're going to take these out, give them a chop. Uh, that'll work. We're going to give these a chop and get them in our pan back there on the stove. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Didn't mean to sling you around. All right. I'm going to get to chopping on this. Y'all hang tight. All right, we have our sausage in the skillet and we are gonna put in about two tablespoons of olive oil. All right, let me grab my, this is gonna come up to temp. Let me grab my recipe to double check. First time making this, so I hope it is good. Now, I put it in this big skillet strictly because I know my zucchini noodles are frozen and they are gonna create liquid. So, I am allowing for that and that will also evaporate off as we cook it down. So, let's see. While this is coming up, let me grab the garlic. All right, we are starting to sizzle. So we're gonna let this cook for just a little bit. Now, I have got chicken broth. That's not a big deal, but it only calls for a quarter of a cup. So I think instead of opening a whole can, I am gonna just do some chicken bouillon and a little bit of water. That will work. Not a big deal there. Um, and I think we'll have just the same like kind of flavor. So I think we'll be we'll be fine. We'll go ahead and continue to cook this. And I'm gonna take this out once it's browned, put it on a plate, and then we'll start with our garlic and start adding the rest of our ingredients. All right, we've taken our sausage out and I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic. Like that. I also took out some of this um, oil. Let me turn down our heat a little bit. All right. Add cream. Ooh. We'll add our chicken broth. Let me stir that for just a second, get all that going. Now I only need about a half a teaspoon of this bouillon and then I'm gonna add some water to this. Pulse is letting me know that someone is coming in the driveway or going down the road. All right, there's some water to get that bouillon going. Okay, we're going to add next our Italian seasoning and our Parmesan cheese. Italian seasoning, Parmesan, and this is all that I have, so this is what we got. We'll have to break that up. This is going to be a half a cup. Wish I had fresh, but I don't. So there's that. That will just break right on down. Okay, now my spinach is frozen and my zucchini noodles is frozen. 
So that's going to add liquid to this. So I'm not, not too worried about this. All right. Now it wants us to do medium high and whisk until the so sauce starts to bubble and thicken. So let me change tactics and get a whisk, which is not going to take long because it's already halfway there. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells great. Now this is, you want to stay with this. Or at least I do. I will burn it. If I walk away, I will forget. Oh, it's over here. So, we shall just stay with it. And it's pretty good right there. Now, we are going to add... Let's add our zucchini because it's going to take a minute for these zucchini. Well, hang on. Let me see if I can steam this zucchini first. Let me turn that down for two seconds. Hang tight. All right, I think I have it all together now. Our sauce is wonderful. It is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding. We're gonna add a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Now these have, they were in oil, so they're gonna have a little oil, but these were um, in Italian seasonings as well. They are my favorite. Okay, let's see. Add the spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. So, the spinach is almost thawed, and you know spinach does not take much. So, we're just going to go ahead and put it in there. This is a great green yummy. Oh, that looks good. Now you can always, and we may have to, um, we may have to add a little bit more heavy cream, but that is not, not bad. Let me snitch a sausage. Mmm, those are going to be good in there. That is going to be good. Okay, so after spinach, then comes our zucchini. Our zucchini, I've steamed it in the microwave, so it's pretty much, you know, how zucchini is. Got all that water off, though. So, we're going to let this get... There's a few pieces that's not quite on top. And I think I'm going to add just a touch of heavy cream back to it. Clarence must be coming in. The dogs always freak out, just like they haven't seen him in a year. All right, let me get this tent back up. This won't take but just a second to come through. Let me get our zucchini ready. I'm going to go ahead and add it as well. I drained it so that water would be out. Oh, that's going to be so good. I got a sink full of dishes to put in the dishwasher. Even though we haven't been at home, we have a, you know, we eat breakfast here, so lunch is usually here, so there's always a few things to do. All right, that feels pretty good. I'm going to add the sausage back.
Mm. That looks so good. Low carb. Good for you. Healthy greens. I'm going to let that simmer there for just a minute. And we will be fixing a plate very, very soon. I think I'm going to do Clarence some garlic bread. That sounds really good with this. I will not have any, but he can have it. So let me let this cook for just a minute. All right, y'all. I have the big pot still on the stove, but I got my plate. This is just the saucer that I had the sausage in. Oh, this, it smells so good. Mm. Let's have a taste. That is really good. Really good. Now, I did add just a little bit. I did add just a little bit of salt because, just to bring out the flavor, but I didn't add a lot because our sausage is pretty salty. But that is great. I'm going to eat this and enjoy it. Fill up my water cup. Probably unload and load the dishwasher. But I'm going to sit down and enjoy my supper. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Coming along with this. This is a very brand new recipe. Never never tried it before. So I hope y'all try it. This is good. Um, I appreciate y'all. I really do. Those that want to, you can hit the button down below and subscribe. And that notification bell will let you know when we post videos. Usually it's Mondays and Fridays at 5 Central Standard Time. I try. Uh, let's see. Today is my Wednesday. You will see this on Friday. I have some upcoming freezer meals that I want to share with you. And you'll see those Monday, I hope. I have surgery on Tuesday. The ladies of the church are bringing food Wednesday and Friday. And then we're going to see about the rest of the week. But I have some freezer meals that I want to throw in and just have some easy meals. I can do them in the crock pot or I can throw them in the instant pot either way. But it will be something that won't be too too big and I can do. It's kind of um well, most of them a side is not going to be a big deal, you know, green beans or peas or Something like that. Something something quick and easy. So, real real simple there. But we will get to those hopefully Monday. So, y'all hang around for that. But I'm going to eat supper. So, until next time, I'll see you later.